Brian Scott with you here as we conclude this week, January the 28th here in uh, 2023. Insight to the end times. Wow, where are we in God's timetable? Are we getting close to the end? The answer is yes. And for the reasons that we've shared in the earlier 263 episodes of this podcast, we encourage you to go to insightstotheendtimes.com and you can pre- you can check you can check out any of the previous podcasts that we have uh, recorded for you using biblical scriptures to show you to tell you where we are in God's timetable. We're in Rom- Romans chapter 1 today. <clears throat> We're finishing up uh, this week. I want to read three verses to you, maybe four. In Romans 1 verse 26 to begin with. Uh, These verses have been talking about people and how they have rejected God and come against God and uh, how there's evil coming into the land uh, at great levels. Let's, Let's see what God says here. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile afflictions. For even their women did uh, change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, they burned in their lusts one towards another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Um, No matter what the world says and no matter what the world's been doing and no matter what the world's been sanctioning and approving, it doesn't meet with God's approval. Sooner or later, the entire world is going to know (laughs) they made a massive, massive mistake. Think back to the days of Noah and the flood. Everybody seems to know that story. Noah built an ark. He built an ark to save all the animals And he ended up saving only eight individuals, himself, his wife, and his three boys and their three wives. Eight people were left on the earth after God sent floodwaters and destroyed everything on the earth because people didn't obey God's rules. That's about to occur here in the very near future when the seven years of tribulation hit the earth. And uh, that's gonna be a bad time. I wanna quickly review with you some of these thoughts and these verses. In verse 21, which we didn't read today, but it says that they knew God and then they gave up honoring God, respecting God, glorifying God, much, much, much like the current scenario in our North American culture and society today. Uh, We are turning away from God very quickly. As a result, God gave them over and allowed them to become vain in their imaginations. And that terminology in Greek means their intelligence, their decision-making, and their mental awareness and their mental uh, activities became totally full of error. Then it says he allowed them to become foolish. That means they have a regression in their thinking and their mental acuity. And then thirdly, they became dark, uh, spiritually and naturally. That infers immorality and godly, ungodly behavior. Verse 22 says they became, uh, they, they thought they were wise. God says, no, 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 you're not wise, you're foolish. And that means that their, their intelligence level uh, begins to regress, their decisions begin to regress, they begin to make foolish decisions. They focus on things that are minors and they, I say it this way, they major on minors and they minor on majors. You might say that we're seeing this in our world today in our North American continent, in Canada particularly, uh, the world in the last 12 months has swung over into a crisis of energy, uh, especially on the European continent. It has become the number one concern uh, to have enough energy to keep their homes warm and so on and so forth. You and I are in North America. We have lots of energy at the moment, but in our country, Uh, They are doing everything they can at the uh, leadership level to shut off our energy production so we can focus on climate change. And in Canada, that is one of the most unnecessary steps that needs to be taken given the size of our country and all of the ways it naturally looks after things of that nature. Of course, what do I know? I just read my Bible and understand what God says. 
Amen. Thirdly, it says, uh, or fourthly, uh, they became foolish. Then fifthly, uh, God released them to uncleanness. And then sixthly, in this verse, it says he gave them over, he released them, he allowed them to transition into a reprobate mind. Now, a reprobate means someone who is disgusting and uh, perverse and so on. But in this verse, it talks about they. He says, they did not like to retain God. He speaks in the plural, and that has the inference that not only is an individual reprobate, but the entire society is reprobate. And I would suggest to you that's where we are headed, and, and that may be where we, we are already there. Now, I want you to think about this with me just before we close. God did not make them a reprobate. God released them. He allowed them to move in that direction because that was their choice they made. We have choices, people. We can choose things one way or another. And um, most, most people in leadership today, it seems, at least the ones being reported on, they seem to be making choices that are causing unbelievable decisions, unbelievable terms. Uh, they're focusing on things that are totally contrary to the Word of God. And wow, here we are in our government. Big steps taken just recently to help with this climate issue. They've banned plastic grocery bags and they've banned plastic straws. I am sure we're on the way to victory with those kinds of major decisions. If you note some cynicism in my thoughts, you're probably correct. It's time for us to get back to what God's Word is telling us because we're so close to the end. And all of these things that we have shared with you are just indicators. They're signs. And Jesus and the Scriptures say, when you see these signs appearing, you better look up. We're very close to the end. Next week, we get back into us some more great material for you. I look forward to seeing you then. Call you blessed. Amen. Amen.